In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 71 by approximating it to the nearest tenths place decimal. To do this, we need to look at perfect squares nearby to 71. Examples of this include 8 squared, which is 64, and 9 squared, which is 81. We can see that 71 falls between 64 and 81, so we can write the following inequality. 64 is less than 71, which is less than 81. Now we can take the square root of this inequality. The square root of 64 then turns into 8, because 8 squared is 64. The square root of 81 then turns into 9, because 9 squared is 81. Now we have the following inequality. The square root of 71 is between 8 and 9. Using this information, we can then try out decimals between 8 and 9 that when multiplied by themselves give us approximately 71. Because 71 is pretty in between 64 and 81, we can say that we can use something between 8 and 9 to approximate. Let's try out 8.4 squared just because 71 is a little bit closer to 64. 8.4 squared is 8.4 times 8.4. 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Add our 0. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3, and then 8 times 8 is 64, plus 3 is 67. When we add these together, we get 70.56, which we can see is very close to 71. So we can approximate it in that way by saying that 70.56 is approximately 71. Now we can say that 8.4 squared is approximately 71. We can then take the square root of both sides. When we take the square root of 8.4 squared, the squared and the square root cancel. And we get 8.4 is approximately the square root of 71. This will be our approximation. The square root of 71 is about 8.4.